Um, what's this? Can anyone tell me? Can you tell me? <laughs> that is a whale. <laughs> ah, yes. It's this. <laughs> what kind Thanks. is it? <laughs> I can I can point out obvious things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're getting a few other answers like uh, humankind trying to control everything or the Ooh. environment. Oh, that's a good one. Discovery. Discovery. <laughs> Loch Ness monster. <laughs> okay. Uh, ah. Water. Water. There's two of these. Maybe the last one will give it away. Do you know who that is? It's Bill Gates. It is. Mm. Yeah. Limits. Why is Bill Gates famous? Mm. Why is he famous? Why is apart he famous? From, yeah, <laughs> apart from... Why is, he <laughs> why is he famous apart from the fact that he violated a minor traffic? <laughs> well, I can say the obvious. When he was 21. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's why we know him. <laughs> uh, superlatives, oh, someone's saying. We've got it, yes. Mm. Who said, what, what country came out with superlatives? Uh, I think you're a good friend. The biggest, best, Daniel Barber. Daniel Barber? Mm. Oh, well, he didn't know this one, so I have to forgive him. Yeah, this is, these are superlatives. This is a superlative slideshow. So, I'm going to go through it again in a moment. But let me just tell you where the starting point for this was. I had to teach superlatives with my students. Um, we were going through all the usual stuff and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And then I thought, well, a couple of pictures I've got. And I thought, well, what do we do with pictures? And, well, I mean, it gives rise to language, doesn't it? Well, what's, what's the superlative here? Um, I'm, not going to, I'm not going to ask you any more questions. <laughs> the worst <Don't> movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most expensive film ever made, or the most expensive movie of your kind of ever made. Yeah, it is. It's the most expensive movie ever made. This is the highest mountain in the world. This is the planet which is nearest the sun. This is Mercury. This is Neptune. This is the furthest from the sun. This is the longest river in the world. This is the, oh, this is the biggest animal in the world. In fact, it's even more than that. It's the biggest animal which has ever lived on our planet even bigger than the dinosaurs. Really? Yeah, yeah. This is the fastest stroke. <laughs> this, is the most, this is the most difficult stroke. This is the richest man in the world. I think he's still the richest man in the world. And this is the tallest man in medical history. So you can imagine the, the, the fun that you, you have in class trying to have your students firstly identify why each thing in the picture is a superlative and secondly, <laughs> this is the fun bit, have them actually produce the language. Now it becomes a drill, it becomes a, dram a, a grammar drill, isn't it? Because you're wanting them to produce a very specific structure. You're wanting them to produce a superlative adjective with the definite article. So this is the most expensive. And you can start off with just those three words or two words. The most expensive, the highest, the nearest, the furthest, the longest, the biggest, the fastest, the most difficult, the richest, the tallest. And then you can go over them again where everybody's really got that, really got the hang of it, you go over it again. So this becomes the most expensive film, the highest mountain, the nearest planet, the furthest planet. And each time you go through it, that structure gets a little bit bigger and it eventually you're producing full sentences. This is the biggest, sorry, this is the longest river in the world. This is the biggest animal that has ever lived on our planet. This is the fastest swimming stroke. This is the most difficult swimming stroke. So you can see where you can see where that's going. And all of these came from Google Image Search and they all took it took me, I don't know, it took me about twenty minutes to download all these images and keep them on my computer. And then I can keep my memory stick and go to put it into a classroom and take in no other materials whatsoever and have a whole class out of this. We can take any one of these images and we can use it for activities that we've already seen in the first four four chapters of the book. So we any of these images could lead to a speaking, writing, reading or listening activity. Yeah. Everybody alright there? 
fantastic, really. Just doing a, just doing one of my little checks because sometimes when I don't hear anyone for a while, it all goes dead. <laughs> Excellent. Do we like do we all like Tina Turner? Uh, yeah, she's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did she <laughs> sing? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what was her most famous song? About uh, superlatives. Her most famous song. Yeah, her most famous. Simply the songs. best. Yeah, so she sang, so Tina Turner sang, You're simply the best, didn't she? Better than all the rest, didn't she? Yeah? Yep. So what did she sing to Mount Everest? It's the. What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what would you sing to Mount Everest? <laughs> it's the highest mountain. <laughs> exactly, she said, You're simply the highest, higher than all the rest, wouldn't huh? she? Yeah. Yeah. What would you sing to Mercury? <laughs> you're, you're simply the nearest. <laughs> nearest planet to the sun. <laughs> yeah, what would you sing to Mercury? I forget my voice, man. Uh, Just, the longest. You're simply the longest yeah. river in the world. You, you, you've got Longer than it. all the rest. Yeah, you're going to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> now let's you're try simply, the next one. <laughs> okay. You're simply the biggest animal that's ever lived on the planet. The biggest animal that's ever lived on the planet. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, bigger. bigger than all the rest. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're all right. <laughs> so you can have some fun with these as well. And that's the whole, that's, this, this chapter looks at images and slideshows, how to create slideshows from images downloaded for the internet to teach specific language points being either grammar, vocabulary, or pronunciation. Some really specific points that we want to really tackle with our students in the classroom and drill them and have some fun with it. So moving on, we're on to the last chapter. And this is my favorite chapter, so I've left the best to last. This is this is student generated flashcards. Um this is a sort of Antithesis, 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 an antithesis to the technology chapters that we've just had. Um, this, well, this uses a, a, a nice piece of technology. This is my favourite piece of technology. That is the pencil. <laughs> this gets our students drawing, and I don't mean our young learners. I'm talking about all learners, um, adults. You give your adults paper and pencils, ask them to draw. A lot of them will resist at first. They'll roll their eyes and they will look at you all cynically. But when once they get drawing, they'll see how much fun it is and they'll realize how much they can actually learn and experience and memorize and internalize and remember language through the drawing process. It's quite incredible and they will go back to it. I've seen it time and time and time again. Now I want to show you 11 pictures. Um, and what your task is is to guess what you're going to see. Now, I've made it easy for you because I've given you a, a match. I call these spaghetti matches. You've got to, you've got to match the chunks of language on the left with the chunks of language on the right. You've got to use spaghetti. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a couple, Tyson. I apologize for having you being the representative of all the participants. <laughs> I apologize to you participants. No, I apologize to the having... <laughs> <laughs> But it works quite well, doesn't it? Mm. So representative of the, of the participants, Tyson, give me a couple of, of examples. We've got a criminal being arrested. What else do you see? Okay. Uh, let's see. A bank robber being chased by the police. Yeah, give me another couple. An naughty child. Uh, being struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a golf yeah, being pulled off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is the a wrong answer, right? <laughs> no, I've, at this stage, there's no wrong answer whatsoever. You're, you're using you're, all you're doing is using trying to use a bit of logic combined with a bit of um, schema forecasting what's <laughs> going to happen next. A bit of schema. Yeah, we're, there's there's all sorts of things happening. Here. We're, we're familiarizing our students with the language, which the language here is being passive noun phrases, 